All right, we're here with Eddie, who's got a really nice 1960 convertible bug. Eddie, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. It's nice to be here with you to check out all these cool cars. Uh, tell us about your car. Well, this is, a, like you said, a 1960 VW convertible. Uh, believe it or not, I bought this car when I was 16 years old. So I've had this car for 32 years. A lot of my friends were buying bugs back in the day. We were having fun in Hollywood. And I said, you know what? If I get a Volkswagen, it has to be a convertible. So I hunted, I worked at McDonald's, two, three different jobs, save enough money. And I bought this car. It was black, it needed some work, but I found my convertible. So it's kind of grown with me. I have pictures of my son uh, before he was born up to now, which is, he's 22 years old. So it's kind of cool to have a VW that he's kind of grown with. So this is my, my, my first love, you know, this is my son, and then I had a real son. Uh, so yeah, I've, throughout the years I've collected a lot of rare accessories, and uh, now that he's in college I've really focused in the last two years, repainted it, put a new top, added interior, and he's having fun in college and my dad is out having fun at the car show. Great. So approximately how many miles have you put on your car? Well, since the since the rebuild or since I purchased it? Since the time you've purchased it, well, way back when? Uh, not too much, you know, to be honest with you. When I first bought it, I was cruising Hollywood. It was lowered, I had the Porsche Allo. It, it was a different look. Now that I'm older, I went back to stock. I probably put in about maybe 30,000 miles, not too okay. much. It was always a, my second car, my toy car. It wasn't really ever a okay. car that I drove all the time. Cool. So um, let's start back at the front and kind of go over a key, uh, just kind of go through the whole car. Tell us about this badge. Is well, this badge, you know, like I said, a couple of years ago, I started getting back into it, trying to find the rare accessories. I like the car to be different, original, but I like to collect the rare stuff. So this badge was uh, purchased in Belgium with uh, probably four other badges. I originally bought other red badges that are rare, but when he showed me the last one, I go, oh my God, this, the red, white, and blue, it would make my bug look good. So $3,000 later, I have a cool badge. I have some European headlights, just things that are different. I bought these Marshalls up in France, and then I added little Italian cover blinkers, just so when you look at it, it's kind of like makes things stand out. I recently added the clip-on mirrors there, Albert mirrors, and uh, finally found the correct clips because you have to have special clips to go with the convertible. And uh, and then I added a rare red tip antenna, just things like that that pop. And then I just added Firestone white walls, had the wheels repowder coated and painted, had the hubcap painted. Just like I said, just to bring it out. It, it certainly looks awesome and it, yeah. that touch really does make it look special. Red, you know, my friends call it lipstick red. I call it whatever you want, but I love it. You know, it, it's a great red. Nice. It's a deep red. So I see the skirts on the back yes. and I don't see skirts uh, often on a bug. Tell us well, about the skirts. Those are original skirts. They're made by a company called Foxcraft, which made skirts for other vintage cars. And it was an accessory. These are actually stamped original VW1. And then the other one is just VW. Those are the correct stamping made for this car as an accessory. They made so much accessories. That, I mean, to this day, I keep finding rare accessories, armrests and things like that, but uh, those are original. And Great. It, and I figured they work with the car. Some, that it's in and out. So you can put them on, take them off for a while. Eh, I don't want skirts. But this, this last year, I've kept them on. I really enjoy the look. It yeah. kind of brings it together. Cool, so th let's take a look at the, uh, interior? The, the interior. Yes, and we can start over here because this is another one-of-a-kind creation. Uh, this here is a bracket here, if you want to come over here on this side. And this is a rare accessory here. It's made in Australia, and it's a bracket. Makes your seat recline. And they didn't originally come with it, but they made it, in case you're tired, you recline it. And I got creative and I made these brackets and a pillow to go with it. So when you're relaxing, it kind of all blends in together. When I had the interior done, I had the pillow done. So these are one of a kind, these brackets. They never came nice. with it. 
part of this re, uh, reclining seat, they sold another accessory that went with it, which was, what was it called a reclining shifter. Look at the shifter. <laughs> it reclines, so it keeps your feet out of the way. And it kind of, you know, they sold it as a package, but it's so hard to find, so I had to actually find it separate. It's now back together. And if you notice that steering wheel, I don't know if you can see it from here, that's a one-of-a-kind steering wheel made by Koch. Koch is a company who makes steering wheels for all vintage cars. I had some work done and he said, you know what, Eddie, how would you like to have a one-of-a-kind steering wheel for your car? I thought he was joking. I show it up and I looked inside and that's what I saw. And I'm like, holy mackerel. I love it. And that's an original horn button from Germany that I found that kind of went with it. And uh, the headliner was redone, German cloth, German wool. And this is something just added that nobody has. You got to look at the visor. Yep. Those are plaid visors. Everyone's <laughs> like, what is that? I just, in my head, I said, listen, I have a friend who has an old upholstery shop that had this German cloth that I've seen. And I try to make a boot. He goes, this is $350 a yard. I can only give you a small piece. What do you want to do? I said, this. Cool. And this, as of last week, that's something new there. And I think it kind of blends in. Again, to be different. Looks great, Eddie. It matches the car, I believe, to, to each his own, you know? All right, can we look at the motor? Yes, yeah. Again, this is another, before you look at the motor, if you look at the chrome, there's an exhaust tip at the bottom there. That's a hard uh, tip to find, you know, kind of with a little red thing on there. Yep. And then the, the, the normal lights for this car, they're called snowflakes. These are called chevrons. If you notice the shape of it, kind of shape of a chevron, those uh -huh. are another rare accessory from Europe. Yeah. Along with the mud flaps. And the chevrons were like to create more visibility so a car Only available it. in Europe. These are a lot of European options that weren't available here in California. And again, to be different, that's the idea. Cool. The original engine for this is a 36 horsepower. I upgraded and made it a 1600, and then I decided to get cute and powder coated, and I'll show you. Let's take a look. It's a 1600 dual port. Correct engine is 36 horsepower, but I, I want a little bit more speed. And now I want to find a 36 horsepower. <laughs> But for now, I kind of made it look a little uh, That's good. older, you know, <laughs> and uh, just, you know, just to make it clean. Cool. Yeah, Eddie, so you got a great car. I really appreciate you taking us through it and giving us a tour. Thank you. Um, I hope, I uh, wish you good luck on the scoring. Oh, it's all about fun. Have a good... I'm here to support my event July the 15th, the VW and Scooter event, really why I'm here. Uh, I've been doing the show thing for many years, and I, I try to not to make it about awards or anything else. Just to say hi to a lot of friends you don't get a chance to see. Show off the new bells and whistles. That's why I'm here. Cool. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're here with Eddie, and he's going to tell us about this event that's coming up on July 15th. Yes, July 15th in the city of El Segundo. It's at a museum, multi-million dollar cars in the museum. So we are doing the first annual VW and a twist, Italian scooters to go with it. So vintage scooters, VWs together. Uh, we're going to have live DJ, food truck, and we have a lot of support. A lot of good sponsors, Koch's, uh, Wolfsburg West, a lot of local people that are going to be part of the event. So this is the first annual and it's going to be every year. So.